Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Crayola Scoot. Uh, Crayola makes crayons, so I'm not sure what to expect. Um, I picked this up because a friend pointed out it was like 90% off, so it was like super affordable. So I figured may as well. Um, it looks like you got some kids on scooters and it looks kind of splatoony. Hopefully it's kind of splatoony, that would be cool. Maybe a bit like Jet Set Radio. And yeah, it's made by Crayola, which is weird. Um, and... Og. <laughs> and Climax Studios, apparently. Alright. I don't care. Auto-save warning. Uh, they use an arrow pointing at a... Just a... What is that, a whiteboard? <laughs> a very small whiteboard. Alright. Continue, please. Okay. Well, this looks the same as the little thumbnail. The only setting I can change is whether the vibration is on or off, so that's not great. A lot of different volume settings. I guess I'll start the game and see what happens. Oh no. Oh no. Choose your binary gender. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> oh well. Well, I'll pick that one, but that's disappointing. Oh, that's cool, actually. That's not bad. Height. Uh, pretty tall. Splat color. Okay, so splat. Like Splatoon? I hope so, that'd be cool. Okay, so I can green's probably my color, honestly. So let's go with green. Enter name. Uh Alright. Oops. I'm just trying to backspace where it said player and put in a name. That's a bit annoying. I would use the touch screen, but I'd have to stop recording and do that, and I don't care enough. There we go. Always. That's my name. <laughs> okay, so there's a shop that I can buy things in. Uh, there's a game called Scoop, Scoot where I can re-challenge the legends. Someone's called Tegan. I don't know who Tegan is. Extra coins from playing in the arcade. Even more. Okay, there are coins. Alright. I don't know anything about this game. Hey, nice catch. Welcome to the world of Scoot. My name is Tegan, and I'm here to officially invite you into the Crayola Color Cup. All the best scooters enter this tournament to try and win the Color Cup, and I think you've got a lot of promise. They spelled color incorrectly, by the way. I live in Australia. We spell color with the U, so the Australian version of the game should do that. Anyway, if you get training, that scooter is a little gift from me. So how about you ride around a bit and see how it feels? I hope you like it. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so it's kind of a kind of like Jet Set Radio, yeah. This actually reminds me a lot of Jet Set Radio, which is good because that game is iconic. Way to go! So how about we try some jumping? You have two different types: a small hop jump or a larger charge jump. Small bunny hops or low jumps can perform really quickly, whilst charge jumps allow you to get more air but take a little longer to set up. Well, yeah, I could tell from their names. Don't hold up on the left stick and you have a quarter pipe, otherwise you'll ride over it and not up. Now if my jab, let's try a few jumps now. Oh, you use the right stick for jump, that's interesting. You like to move? Yeah. These controls are very interesting. Oh no! Which I'm a fan of the way charge jumps work, where you hold the stick down and then up. That's a little weird. Look at you go, like a little jumping bean. The scooters used in the Crayola Color Cup are pretty darn special. They have an awesome boost feature which will zoom you forward, giving you more speed for jumps, meaning a big trail of your color. This is a lot like Splatoon meets Jet Set Radio. 
How about you boost around for a bit now and practice coloring? How do I boost? There's lots of buttons. Yay, it's so pretty! The bar will drain into your boost around, but don't worry, it'll fill back up over time. However, if you run over your own color, your boost bar will fill even quicker. Hello, Splatoon. <laughs> Give it a go now, run over your own color and see how quickly your bar fills. Nice, how we get some big air and perform some tricks to start splashing some colour. More tricks mean more points, and more importantly, more colour! Ahem, anyway, how about you try some spins and flips? Hope you don't get dizzy! Quite the little trickster, aren't you? Spinning flip will only get you so far, though. You'll need to pull off scooter tricks to win the events. Use boost to get some big air and try pulling off a few simple tricks. The longer you hold the trick, the more you'll do. Just remember to release the trick before you hit the ground, though, or else you'll crash. Good luck! Okay. Go down there? Yes, but it's not a good idea. <laughs> There's loads more advanced tricks to find if you experiment moving the right stick around in the air. Spinning and tricking around in the air like a fancy colourful butterfly isn't the only way to score big though. You can grind across most edges if you get the right angle and enough speed. You just need to hold the grind button. Easy, right? Somewhere else, I need to hop up first. If you keep the grind button held down in the air, you should land on a grind. However, if you grind too slow, you'll fall off. I'm gonna boost if you start to wobble. Give it a go. Try to grind the rails on the edge of the bowl. Woohoo! So yeah, this is basically Jet Set Radio meets Splatoon, which sounds great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. If you want to score really big though, you can have to combo tricks together. If you do multiple tricks or grinds, you'll notice your combo multiplier going up, which multiplies your score of all the tricks in the combo. The higher the combo score, the more points you'll get when you finish the combo. As long as you land safely, of course. A neat way of keeping the combo going is by boosting. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it as you play, but for now, how we try and get a small times three combo? Right. 
was more like it, but I didn't quite land it. <laughs> There we go. Sweet, you're almost ready for your first event. I have to teach you one last thing. Color triggers. Coloring the trigger will activate it. Spraying, splitting, or raining even more color into the park. All the payoff was minimal effort. Each park will have lots of triggers to play with. For now, use tricks or boost to splash color on the trigger in front of you and see what happens. So that's that thing. Oops. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Can't steer. Woo, color! Yes, make everything green! <laughs> yeah. Booyah, I love watching those spray color. There are lots of different types in the various parks and all help you color more. However, there's something which is even better. Wonders, each park has one wonder and they can really cover the park in splats. This thing you're looking at right now is a control point. When three control points are colored, the wonder will come to life. If you own all the three control points yourself, it will trigger the mega mode. You should ride around and color the three control points to see what wonder will show up. Alright. Mort's Blimp. Look at all that colour. Mort's Blimp? Right, you now know all I know, so use what I've taught you wisely. I reckon you'd be looking at the new I reckon I could be looking at the new colour cup champ in time. Anyway, now I've got all that learning out of the way, let me show you around the place. This is the plaza. You'll always start here when you arrive in the world. Everything you need is up here. That shiny pulls your access to the various events. As you rise up, rise up in fame level, more modes and parks will become available. Just scoot through when you want to play. That's why everyone's here, the Color Cup. Isn't she pretty? Currently, Neb is the reigning champion. I reckon you've got a pretty good shot at beating him. Here we go, the current standings. Only by playing events and beating legends when they challenge you will be able to rise up and be the best. This awesome building is the arcade. If you have friends you want to play with in split screen multiplayer, this is the place to come. Up to four local players can play. Ah, the shop. This is my pride and joy. The Scoot Shack, run by yours truly. Come visit me if you want to buy new bits for your scooter or new clothing. This is the Trick Zone. You can go in here, float in the air, and learn tricks without fear of falling off. Neat, huh? Feel free to practice in the park whenever you like. Every now and then some of the other riders might come and challenge you when you earn enough fame. You'll beat them all if you want that cup. That's it, time for me to go back to the shop. It looks like you've got a few new events waiting for you through the portal. Good luck and see you around. So this is extremely similar to Incopolis Plaza. I don't know if anyone else noticed, but it is. <laughs> it's, it's not subtle. I keep thinking you press X to jump, but you don't. You flick the right stick. X doesn't do anything. Oh no, I broke my leg. Again. I guess I'll go through the portal and check out some of these events. You can't turn very quickly, which is a bit annoying. Land select. Okay, I see, there's different worlds. Only three of them, apparently, which is a bit weird. Trail the Color City? Yeah, sure. Rooftop Color Frenzy. Easy, I guess. Your boost bar will look different. Okay, so that's, yeah, Tegan tip because that's Tegan. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Just gonna get a drink.
color the park to win. Oh, so it's Turf War. Hot starter bone. out a lot. I'm not very good at this sort of game. <laughs> Okay, so it's very similar to a tough war in Splatoon. <laughs> the music's not as good though. I should just pick free try now I think about it. <laughs> She's at the shop. Oops. Is that like a break button? Yeah, I think A button is break. Okay. A cat who's also a witch? That's me! <laughs> Workshop. Oh, I see. So we can upgrade various bits and pieces. Or at least customize them. It looks like it changes the stats, which is a bit annoying. I would like to just get cool stuff like a broom without it messing with the stats. like glasses. Since I am in fact wearing glasses. Oh my goodness. Well that's the one I need. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness, there's some excellent hats in here. No glasses though, which is weird. Hang can I get cute skirts? Apparently not. That's disappointing. Your favorite customer. 
me who has never bought anything from you. <laughs> Alright, let's try another event. Um, I guess I can try the same one. I came pretty close to winning. Like, I came second. Maybe I can try one of the others? Yeah, let's give this one another shot, I reckon. I think I can pull it up this time. But yeah, this is basically Splatoon meets Jet Set Radio, which is a fascinating combination. I won that time. I'm not, not sure how, but you know, whatever. Wow, I won by a pretty good margin. Still capture control points by colouring them. Steal the wonder for yourself. Okay. Kinda unceremoniously dumps you back at the beginning like that. <laughs> hmm. Let's try the next event. Splat tag, survive. I feel like this is something that happens in Splatoon. Which is a game that already existed. <laughs> this is so Splatoony, it's hilarious. Avoid the splatters to win. Okay, so is that a splatter? Ah.
Okay, I got splattered. This is this is confusing. Oh, am I the splatter now? Is that how it works? Is it like a tag game? No, not, not like a tag game, another thing. What's that other thing? Like a zombies sort of thing. That's not how tag usually works. And tag normally. Well, I came sixth, apparently. Wow, I was terrible. Let's give it another try. Let's have a go at the legend challenge, I guess, because apparently I've unlocked one. Should let me advance to the next level or whatever. Okay, so the splatter is just one of the one of the other races, but they've got you know, green stuff. And if they splat you, then you lose. Are you trying to avoid them for the longest? Or I guess. Yay! I didn't get splattered. How many points I got? God. Let's do the legend challenge. I really like this. I'm not good at it, but I like it. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, it's a lizard. Dylan, he's a croc. G'day, mate. He's an Australian crocodile. So you're the new rider I've been hearing about? Well, if you want to reach a new fame level, you're gonna have to go through me, and I'm ableist. Us legends love challenging newbies at a game of Scoot, and we're pretty epic. We're <laughs> pretty epic. The rules are simple though, really. Basically, you just need to try beat the combo score set. If you don't, you get a letter. If you end up spelling Scoot, you're out. Simple, huh? Oh, we're playing horse. Okay. Let's do this. Good luck. You're gonna need it.
Alright. Oh no, I got an S. Or an H. It's a horse. It's the same game. Why they change the letters in horse? I'm pretty sure it's not like copyright of Tony Hawk or whatever. It's, that's just what the game is called. It's just like a standard thing. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're playing, it's horse. So, there you go. Yeah, I'm not I'm not very good at skateboarding games because what this is even though we're on silver is it's a skateboarding game. Right, you've got a lot of promise. Here's a bit of free advice. Keep an eye out for Mort. He can get a bit funny with new riders like you. Oh, and one last thing. Be sure to check out the shop. You will only be able to buy my scooter parts to jazz up that basic one of yours. Every time you beat a legend in a challenge, you'll be able to buy their scooter parts. See you around and good luck, buddy. Fame level up. Okay, next up is Mort, who is a zombie, I think. And then Katja, who is a witch kitty. I love her. I would like to be her friend. Uh... Oh, that's another event. Let's go. <laughs> well, Land 2 is unlocked, but yeah, let's have a peek at Land 2. Oh, it looks nice. Nearly everything is still locked, so maybe we should go back to Trail of Color City and do some stuff over here first. Yeah, there's a lot of content by the looks of things, which is good. You want there to be a lot of content. How does this, uh, Aeolus Crayons mode work? I 
Let's have a look. Wow. Race and collect the most crayons to win. Alright. There's... Oh, I see. There's just, just crayons. Because it's Crayola, they make crayons. Find the other crayons. Oh, the lower. Okay. I don't know, but it's annoying. Well, I got four out of five crayons. Is that, does that mean I win? Yep, okay. It does. All right. No dabbing. <laughs> how do I how do I dab? I need to I need to do a bar spin. Yeah, let's go to the trick trick dome so I can do some dabbing. <laughs> I need to now that I know it's an option. <laughs> let's go trick zone. Oh my god! <laughs> Dapping upside down! <laughs>
Oh my god. I love to dab. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's have a look at another event, and then I might call it quits, I reckon. Oop. Team Color Frenzy. Okay, so this is literally just a, just a, um, first walk into the team. <laughs> Except, we're on scooters. Work as a team to color the park. Oh, I'm red now. That's a team I'm on. Glitch something. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, I think we won. Yeah. Heck yeah. Try one more. I don't know, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. This is really fun. I'm not good at it, but it's fun. <laughs> and the controls are very interesting. They're, they're a little tricky to, to get finessed, and I think breaking could stand to be a lot simpler than it is. Like turning and stuff. You basically have to stop by holding A and then just turn yourself before you keep going. Which... I guess it's kind of realistic, but it's, it's annoying. I seem to play these on the other difficulties in order to get more types of stars or whatever. Oh, rooftop, yeah. It's on the rooftop. Ooh. Okay, yeah. This will be the last event that I'm going to wrap this up. So, yeah. Um, this is Crayola Scoot, which is basically Splatoon meets Jet Set Radio. Which is a fascinating premise for a game, but 
it plays really well, and I'm really impressed. Um, I do wish they had some more character customization options. Um, it bugs me that I can't wear glasses, because I wear glasses. <laughs> um, and you can't actually change, like, your character's face at all. You can at least change your, like, skin colour, so, like, people of colour can play the game and not be annoyed. Uh, too much, at least. Uh, also, only having binary genders is a bit annoying, but kind of expected considering how few customization options the game gives you in terms of what your character looks like. much point doing tricks and stuff in this mode, I guess. He's trying to get to the crayon as quickly as possible. I guess it charges your boost if you have the right color or whatever. Somehow. I got the wonder, really? Nate, I guess no one else was worrying about it. Since it's not that helpful in this mode. Oh, that might fill up. Close. Huh, oh well. Um. Anyway, yeah, um, I guess that's it for this video. So that's Crayola Scoot, a game which I'm really impressed with. Like, considering it's it's a Crayola game, I kind of thought it wouldn't be that great, but it it's really good. It's really cool and a lot of fun to play. Um, and the controls are really interesting as well. Um, they're not, like, perfect, but I, I think they've done something a little different with the, you know, skateboarding game concept. Uh, and I like it. I like it a lot. I would recommend this game. Um, granted, it is mostly taking cues from Splatoon and putting them into a skateboarding game. Even if you're on scooters, it's a skateboarding game. It's the same kind of game. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's it's really it's a really fun skateboarding game that takes a bunch of cues from Splatoon to be a little bit different from other skateboarding games. So I'm happy. <laughs> uh, the visuals are really nice. Uh, I think they didn't quite get the like paint effects quite as pretty as oh that's the tutorial. Okay, boring. Um, I didn't quite get paint effects as pretty as say Splatoon did because that was the entire focus of that game. Whereas here. It's like, it's a thing, but it's not the entire game. Uh, I imagine there's less, like, there's, like, less range of gameplay than in a game like Splatoon, because all the weapons in Splatoon play very differently, and there isn't really anything like that in this game. Um. Hmm. But, yeah, I do, I do wish to have more customization options. Splatoon does have more options than this. Uh, you can change, like, hairstyles and stuff. And you can't do that in this one, as far as I can tell, which is a bit disappointing. Also, I don't think there's online multiplayer here, which is interesting because Splatoon has a lot big focus on the online multiplayer, that competitive aspect. 
Uh, there is the arcade over here. Uh, which I believe lets you play... Uh, multiplayer locally, like the Shoal does in Splatoon 2. Um, let's have a quick look. Oh, I can pick different characters, okay. If I wanted to play as the, the game's various characters... Oh, is someone unlockable? I wonder who that could be. Is it Tegan? Probably. Do I need to do multiplayer for this to work, or can I just play as me? Okay, yeah, this has multiplayer only by look strings. Oh no, there we go. Alright, so yeah, that's just custom events and stuff, basically. And yeah, it's local multiplayer, it's not online. Which is a bit of a like, weird limitation. Well, I guess it makes sense, sort of. Not really, it doesn't really make sense. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this game. I, I would recommend checking it out, despite the fact that it's, it's a Crayola game and you'd think it wouldn't be that great. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, and you can dab, which is hilarious. <laughs> Um, I think the music's a little disappointing, like, compared- that's comparing it to Splatoon, because of course I am. And Splatoon's music is amazing, so, yeah. Not really a fair- a fair comparison, I guess. It's kind of like saying the music in Ukulele is not as good as in Odyssey, because of course it isn't, because Odyssey has amazing music. <laughs> Nintendo games have really good music. I don't know if you've noticed. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's a uh, Crayola Scoot, a game which I think looks pretty good and pretty fun, and I'm probably going to enjoy playing it more. So I'm glad I picked it up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it's given you an idea of whether you want to get the game. I think it's still discounted at the moment. I think it'll be discounted for like. I think it's for like a couple of weeks or something, so if you want to grab it like right now, uh, then yeah, go for it. Uh, looks like it's definitely worth getting in my opinion, because it's pretty cool and fun. And... Hey, there's people over here. Hello. Hey Dylan, what are you doing? Can I, can I, can I mess with you? I think I messed with him. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so yeah, Cradle Scoot. I think it's pretty cool. I think you might enjoy it if you give it a go. And I enjoy it. Or if you enjoyed it so far, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's a video game you can, you can play. Um. I don't know how much content there actually is in the game, like, it's only showing me these three levels, but there might be more. Because it unlocked a second one after I did one of them, there's clearly at least six people to fight, so it's possible that there's more worlds after this and it only gives you, like, a smaller sneak pre preview or something. I don't know. But, you know, from what I saw, it looks good. I would recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, um, and 